Let's All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Champion Beyond the Huddle. Today, I got Kaelin Siam running back from McCallie School down in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, thanks for being here. Happy New Year to you and your family, man. Happy New Year, Coach. Perfect. So let's just start from the beginning. You know, uh, you just finished basically uh, your first moments in Tennessee. You know, yeah. I was... It, before let's say we talk about football and everything else let's just talk about the beginning okay how did you start playing football actually um <laughs> that that's a pretty funny story actually um yeah when i was i think in eighth eighth grade yeah in eighth grade my coach from ccl uh he wanted me to play football for like a long time for a really long time and I I used to sneak and lie and lie to my dad so I could go practice with them. So I would I used to play basketball. So okay. I used to tell him like I got basketball practice to, tonight. I would come home late, but really I was going to football. And, <laughs> and and the next year, like after I talked to him, like he told me, uh, yo, you know what? You're big enough now, like you can go play football. Okay. All right. So that's how it started. It's funny yeah. because it was similar for me. You know, basketball <laughs> is really my my first sport. And a lot of the skills gained from basketball actually transition uh, to football for me. Do you feel like it's uh, the same thing for you? Do you feel like you took a lot of things from basketball, brought them into football? I mean, honestly, not that much because mm. no, I, was, I was young and... I was just playing for fun. I wasn't mm. really into it like I'm in football right now. Okay. Played any uh, soccer growing up? I know you're Cameroonian yeah. <laughs> from Ivory Coast, so you got the perfect mix, right? So yeah. played a little bit of soccer? Yeah, back, back in Ivory Coast, yeah. That okay. So talk to us a little bit about that. So when did you move to Canada? Did you grow up a little bit in Ivory Coast and then move over here a little bit later? How did this whole thing happen for you? Um, I was born in Ivory Coast, and I grew up there. Uh, maybe when I was 10, I moved to Canada. And mm. during my time in Ivory Coast, I spent two years in Cameroon with my grandma. Mm. Then I cut, then I came back to Ivory Coast. Then after that, we came to Canada. Okay. And in Cameroon, were you in um, Yaoundé, Douala? Yes. Yes, yeah, Yaoundé. in Yaoundé? Yeah. Okay, really cool. And when you came over here, obviously, you know, you, you love to move around, you, you love sports. Did you know anything about football or not at all? Nothing. Absolutely okay. nothing. <laughs> okay so it's it's definitely the coaches down at ccl that really introduce you uh to the game right yes yes okay and i'm curious to know what draws you to the game you know specifically at that moment where you knew nothing about it you came up playing basketball at first doing other stuff what drawn you to that game Physicality, mm. because um, I was, I was, I, I, I was, I moved a lot, you know, I was a kid, I was, I was full, uh, for my age, I was like, I'm gonna say pretty strong for my age, mm. and, you know, basketball, I, I felt like I wasn't giving everything I had, yeah. and when they talked to me about football, I was like, yeah, you know, why not? And when I tried it, I loved it. The first mm. time, the first time I loved it. And I was like, I want to play football now because mm. I can really, like, be me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I can, I can just, like, use, use my strength how I want, maximum output, you know. I, I don't have to restrain myself, like, in basketball. 
Mm. Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. And did you play any other position at first in football, or you started off as a running back from the jump? Uh, my first practice, I played as linebacker. Okay. And after that, I got moved to running back. Okay. Why the switch? I, I don't know. I think my coaches felt <laughs> like it was it was better for me to be running back. Okay. They decided. <laughs> They're like, okay, he needs to be over here, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And who was your coach? Was it um, Pascal Fiss? Coach yes. Fiss? Coach okay. Fiss. Cool stuff. Okay. And was he also your running backs coach? Yes. Okay. So that's definitely a good coach uh, to have for sure, to develop so, you. And from what I see, okay, there's definitely a pipeline uh, building up with the CCL guys, you know, down towards uh, Tennessee, where there's Baylor School, whether it's McCallie or any other place, there's definitely now a track record of success of guys from Quebec going down south doing good things. So if you could tell us a little bit just about like the CCL culture, what you learn over there, and how they prepare you in order to have success on your next level. The biggest thing they teach you is toughness mm. and determination. Like Toughness and determination, like, I think those are the two biggest words I can use to, like, define CCL. Um, mm. To tell you, like, during lunch, you know, me and the guys, like, Bradley, um, uh, when Max was there, yeah, we used to go to the gym every lunch. We didn't mm. miss a day. Every lunch, we used to go to the gym, bench press, squats, just to have fun, you know, compete with each other. And yeah. after that, we go to class. When class finish, uh, during the off season we go to the gym, and in season we just go to practice. We have fun, you know. Mm. And I think it's really that competitive side of us uh, during the lunch that really builds something, you know, tough toughness. You you, you always want to do better than the other guy, and you just work hard on mm. and off the field every single day and. Mm. I think that just translates right mm. here. You know, I think like we just need to compete and and be great because we used to compete and we just want to be great, you know. Mm. Really cool. And another thing I want to give uh, a shout out to CCL too also is that that culture of um, developing toughness and just having guys that young looking to do the extra work. You know, no one was pushing you to go out there at lunchtime and lift some weights. You guys were doing it all by yourself, which is a testament to you. But also, I find you need to have the, the structure and the coaches around you who are really all about the players. And what I mean by that is that there's great opportunities everywhere, but it's about opening all doors for you to make your choice. And I find there's definitely that um, that culture at CCL, and I think it's a beautiful thing because there's great football in Canada, there's great football in the U.S., um, but ultimately choices should come down to the kids playing the game right now, right? So, and I definitely like that about that program. Okay, cool stuff. Okay, so once your parents eventually found out you were playing football, okay? Uh, they came to watch you play. What were they saying at first when they figured out, oh, okay, it's real now? My my mom and dad, they, I mean, the first year, they were mad, for sure. <laughs> and so they didn't want me, they, don't, they didn't want to, like, bring me to practices. They said, find a way yourself. So Coach Fizz, uh he used to, give me some lifts during the summer after practice and after lifts too. And, you know, the first year they, they didn't really watch me, you know, they were really mad. Even when we went to the finals, I think my mom watched on the TV and mm. she was like, you know, she mm. didn't really like it. But my senior year, I really felt it. Like she was there for me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. She, she was she, I think she learned that, she learned that football was something I loved. And 
shout out to her because like without her I, I wouldn't be here right now she really For pushed sure. me last year last year she, she really pushed me and mm. I mean that was that was the biggest thing she was she came to watch every single one of my games every single one when she couldn't travel she she, she used to watch it on YouTube and wow. if she could come to the school she would come every single wow. game she didn't miss one she didn't miss one wow okay yeah. that's really cool and the thing about parents too that i found you you learn in that in that process and it's just parents they want you to succeed no matter what that is right they want you to succeed first and foremost um i'm from cameroon i know you have parents from cameroon too uh education is a big part of it right education is yeah. a big part of it but the thing is that when you're determined about something okay whether your parents understand it or not they see that determination in you right and that cannot be denied as a parent you know i have a five-year-old son but when he looks at me in in my eyes and he tells me he's doing something who am i to say no because man i i can feel it and i can only support it you know whether i'm scared about it or not Uh, I think it's really cool that like you kind of set the stage for that. And now I'm pretty sure their mentality about what football is and what it can do for your life and your academic future and everything else. I'm pretty sure it, it, it changed. Right. It yeah. changed for sure. Is that kind of how it happened? Yes. Totally. My mom, my mom watch football now. She, like, mm. she watches games and, and everything. She watch football now. I mean, mm. You really change, you really change. Really cool. And tell us about the running back position. This is my position. I love that position. I think it's the greatest position. Speaking to a fellow running back, if you could tell us why it's so great being a running back. I know people are hating on running backs now, and yet yeah. it needs to change because, man, running backs run the show. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, For me, it's a bit weird to say that, but, like, it's freedom. Freedom of movement, you know. I mean, you can do whatever you want as a running back. Like, you just need to read the blocks, you know. And until, like, down the field, you can just read whatever you want. You can be physical. You can yeah. you can outspeed people, you know. Like, it's just really about the freedom of what you can do, you know. It's It's... It's just that's what I love about it. It's mm. it's not too complicated, but it's not simple at the same time. Yeah, and you need to be really, really, really physical, and that's the part I love too. Like being physical, hitting people, you know, uh, lowering my sh lowering my shoulder, you know, going to the ground. You know that that's that's something I love. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So now. Tell us about now this transition, okay? Starting out at CCL, doing what you're doing, learning about the game from a place at first where you didn't even know football existed. You know, a coach found you and said, okay, let's go, let's try. And then it starts to click in your mind, hey, maybe I'd like to go down south and pursue this thing. Maybe I have the potential to do it. Where did that come from? Did someone tell told you that you could do it? Or did you just believe it? Or where did that come from? When I saw uh, when I saw Jay and Max leave for Baylor and McCauley, I was like, "Yo, I want to be there too." You know, I want to mm. be up there. I want to like, I want to shine. I want to, you know, I, I just want to play football at, at like a different level. Yeah. And so when I I, I watched them play the last year. I was like, that's the place I want to be. That's the place. I, that, that's where I want to go right now. You know, that's that's my whole, like, that's where I want to go. And mm. since then, I just worked for it, like, the whole season, my whole last mm. season. You know, I worked for it, gym. I ran during practice. Like, I was just, you know, going crazy. And my and my last, my last season was, honestly, was great. I, mm. I like 
it was really great and I was a uh, at some point I thought I thought I would even go so I committed to play Knoxville yeah at your book and I thought I wouldn't even go and because my dad didn't want to at first then I talked to him I talked to him I talked to him he said you know what you can inquire now I just, mm. you know, I just went straight for McCauley and I inquired and here I am now. And it's pretty like that. It all started with G and Max. Okay, definitely cool. Definitely cool. And there's a couple layers to what you, to what you just said is at first you saw some of your teammates making it a reality, right? Sometimes all you need to, all you need is to see it, you know, all you need to see it for it to become real uh, for you, you know, yeah. and then you have to put in the work definitely, which is what you've done. You've opened the doors for you to get your opportunity and make it happen. I'm curious to know now what type of impact or advice did your parents gave you in that process? Because it's still leaving home for the first time i know you're fired up you know like any football player man you're going out there you're playing football all of that stuff but what advice did your parents gave you uh the night before i left i sat down with my mom and we thought of course we prayed and she told me uh just you know be careful don't do anything stupid stupid just Focus on school and football. Do yeah. do what you're doing right now. Stay. Yeah. Don't try. Don't try to like be a clown, and you know, just go out, have fun. No, go there and do what you're called called to do. You know, just grind, work hard, go to school. Uh, she told me like. I don't <laughs> I don't want to see any pictures of you outside, you know. <laughs> I want you to stay at school. You study, yeah. you play football, you get what you want to get. <laughs> if if you don't, you come home. But I told her like that won't happen. I'm not I'm not coming back, you know. I, yeah. I told her like I'm going to make it and I promise nah, that's a promise, you know. I told her that and that's some that good goal. advice. That's some yeah. good advice because I find what a lot of football players often forget or people in, in general is that like while you're playing this game that, that you love, a lot of people tend to think you have like a thousand years to do it, but you don't. You know, I mean, there's one shot at it and the shot is is now. Why not go all in? Why not? give everything you got and have no regrets. You can only win if you do that. Whether yeah. if it's in the football field or outside of it, you're guaranteed to win. That's for sure. So that's the mindset uh, to have. Okay. And why McCalley? Okay. It's definitely a great program. All right. There's a great structure over there. They're winning over there. They're doing good things over there. But why McCalley? Over another school, why was it home for you? Um, the system, I'm going to tell you that, the system. Uh, McCauley, when I look at first, uh, when I talked with Coach Bradford, he told me, like, we are, like, every running school. And you and you can see it. We, we run really, we really run the ball. Mm. And that's why I loved about it. And it's... It's really a power running type of school, and that's why I love for physical it. physical backs like the sound the sound of that for sure. Yeah, physical yeah. backs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the system they definitely run the ball great. Okay, but let's say we take football and we put it to the side. Okay, let's say there was no football at all. Okay, mm -hmm. what makes McCalley, um a place where you feel comfortable developing into the young man that you can be into like the, the maximizing your potential in every facet, uh, one way or another, um, what McCallie brings to the table to help you do that. 
first uh it was a christian school mm. that was that was that was like the first thing i i saw it's a christian school and after that i talked a lot with the guys that were already here and they told me like you know the the teachers are great they care for you they help you out and even the coaches are at school so yeah. i mean it's like it's like a big family you know you got mm. your friends more you live on campus you know mm. you live on campus with all those great guys uh you make a lot of friends and yeah. you know was was just that like the social the social side of that i really liked it i i really liked it yeah and it's a special thing also in a, that's what's great about football is that it connects people that otherwise would probably have never met each other right so uh you're from different parts of the world completely going into this place becoming brothers and building bonds really for the rest of your life that will transition to to anything else really and that's a precious precious uh thing that you get to experience for sure because i mean you're at the stage you're in now but the next stage is all you guys going to college in different places that network expands that much more right that much yes. more so okay now talk to us about arriving at mccalley again you came from ccl well you already had a mindset of putting it work not taking anything for granted going out there you know making things happen but it's still different when you come out there it's a different energy different way of doing things how was it at first was it challenging or did you just picked up the ball and ran with it as simple as that summer camp was tough <laughs> yeah. the it's first hot. Week, it's hot too it's right? hot it's really hot <laughs> yeah. the yeah. first week was that was hell the first week was hell <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah. <laughs> it was hot we had two practice per day sometimes we had we had like a workout in between i mean you woke up at 7:30 you go back to yep. sleep at, you go back you go back in your room at 8 like mm-hmm. that was that was crazy i yeah. mean and it was really different and you know the 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 aspect that everybody got to look the same you don't got to look different from the others like mm. you know our practice jerseys the blue one Uh, yep. the, the white pants every single practice you, you need to have you need to have either blue gloves uh, mm. or white gloves you need to have white shoes you know and even the warm up i don't know if you watch the if you watch some games or mm. i don't know but the warm up everything is really like it's like structured it's yeah structured yeah. yeah it's it's really nice and that was the 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 tough thing at first read that structure to learn it and that i mean that was it after that everything went smooth was mm. smooth yeah nice to that back when i was in this. mississippi i don't know if it's the same thing for you guys in tennessee but back when i went to school in mississippi uh in the summer we were we were doing our conditioning and we had vultures literally like big vultures flying over us cuz i guess they thought someone someone had to die <laughs> so you know so they were just flying over us i, I don't know if you have that too in tennessee no. or no okay you're cuz no, that was see. that was messing with your mind man you're running one sense you have the vultures flying over your head you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 okay cool and academically now how was the transition okay so obviously now studying in english you have great english but yeah it's a different thing being fully immersed doing everything there um if you could talk to us about that um the first month was hard mm. because you know everything absolutely everything is in english and you know for math uh for math it was tough and yeah. for things like biology you know the for the first week or so I had to translate and after that when you get used to it 
and you get in the year and you get used to it, I mean, it comes it comes easy. It becomes yeah. easy. Like okay. for real. All right. You cool stuff. Easy. Cool stuff. And talk to us about your season. Overall, you guys had a good season. Obviously, yeah. if you yeah. can tell us about that whole experience, what's your takeaway from it? How will you remember it? What are you looking to next year? Yeah. If you could tell us about that. Uh, I would definitely remember it. I mean, that was great. I played with a lot of great guys like Javon McMahon, uh, yeah. Carson Geno, uh, yeah. Marcellus Barnes, uh, some really cool guys. I learned, I learned a lot from them. And, um, I mean, I didn't play a lot this season, you know. That wasn't – I wasn't expecting that, but I guess mm. I wasn't as good as I thought I was. So, mm. you know, I had to work to get my reps. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, so looking for next year, I think I'm going to be the running back, you know. Mm. That's, really what I'm, that's really what I want. And I'm going to work for it and, mm. you know. Nobody, nobody, that's on, and I say it right now, nobody going to take my place. Mm. I'm telling you, next year, next year going to be my year, and I'm I'm going big, and I'm coming for a lot, you know. I'm coming for a lot. And all the frustration I had this year, at the beginning of the year, man, it just went away when I just accepted that the guy in front of me was better than me, and I needed to work. Mm. That's all. That all that frustration just went away. I just need to work more and get better. So yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going through right now. Um I'm working, um, working out, running, you know, just trying to get better for next year. Really cool. Really cool. And I, I find every great player at some point is faced with that type of adversity. It's part of that if you're gonna be great in anything especially this game you know because at the level you're at it's a great level at the next level you can expect even more adversity right so just having that mindset but now having done the work where you have to fight for something where you have to be denied something but still be a good teammate still contribute to the team all that stuff matters you know all that stuff is needed in building you up to the person and the player you're supposed to you're supposed to be uh, definitely. So I have no doubt. I have no doubt about that. And if I could give you one advice, anyways, you got your stuff going on. But if I could just tell you one thing is that you said your your strength is physicality. Me, I'm, I'm really with the belief that obviously it's important to work on everything, right? You want to be as best as you can everywhere, and that's true. But I would say also, one thing you said before, what you loved about football is that you can fully be yourself, right? Yeah. I find when you fully dive into who you are and you maximize that to its fullest extent, that's when you can become great. If you focus on all the little things that maybe you're not as good at and only focus on those, you'll only become all right at these things, but you can never be great, right? So fully be who you are, man, 100%. And I'm pretty sure everything will go exactly the way it should be for sure. All right. Cool stuff, man. And all right. So if you could tell us now, right, so... You told us your plans for the next season. Um, beyond next season, okay, scratch that. What does football mean to you? I'm curious to know. What does football mean to you exactly? Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> football. I mean, it's right now it's pretty everything. Mm. That's my way. That's my way to like express myself. That's my way to relax. That's, you know, I live for it. I go to school for it. I mean, it's pretty much my life, you know. And that that's pretty it. I mean, that's, football is just like a great sport, you know. Mm. And 
it's more than that to me. It's more than that. And just the fact that I can come to a place like this because of football, you know, it's just everything. Mm. Really yeah. cool. Really cool. And with that, also, I'll just like to add one little thing, and I don't know if you ever thought about it that way, but let's say we go back to this season and you felt like you had everything to contribute to help the team, and you did, right? It just wasn't the time yet, you know, but it'll come. But just being uh, detached from that wanting that, okay, it's my spot, I need to have the spot right now, it allows you to appreciate it that much more, right? Yeah. And to yeah. work that much more for it. I would just tell you and any other athlete out there, same thing when it comes to football, is that football is great. I think you and me, were both here because we love football. One way or another, man. It's the greatest sport in the world, in my opinion. But you're greater than football, Kaylin, Right. You yeah. will you will always be so, and I would just tell you the more you see it that way, the more you can appreciate it that much more, and maybe detach from it, but experience experience it even more, right? So yeah, it's something that opens all these doors for you, but really you're the one opening these doors for you. You're the one doing the work, and that will always be there. For sure. All Sweet. right. Cool stuff, man. Okay. If you were to talk to any athlete back home, okay, back home or anywhere else, whether it's in Tennessee, Texas, Quebec, Alberta, it doesn't matter, who wants to be great also, who loves football the way you love football, and who wants to maximize their potential, go as far as they can within this game and beyond it. What would you tell them that they need to understand right now? Uh, right now, it's true that you have a team, you have coaches that believe in you, but the most important is that you believe in yourself. Yeah. Like, at some point, it's just going to be you. And it's not you against everybody else. It's you against you. You need to get yourself better. You need to grind for yourself and not for the for other people. You know, it's you against you and believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to be confident. You need to like, you need to want it. You really need to want it. You need to run after it. You need to fight for it. You know, you really need, you really, really need, yeah, really to fight for it. If you want it, you fight for it. I mean, yeah. if you need to take it, you take it, you know? Yeah. Like, it's it's just it's just that if you believe in yourself, if, if like, you determine if you want it, you take it. Like, mm. there's no no other way than that. You won't, you, you won't get where you want to, you, you won't be where you want to be if you don't run for it, if you don't chase after it, and if, if you don't, fight for it mm. if you chase for greatness you need to go and take it you need to go and take it that's the only way up that's the only way up love it man love it and just by what you said it shows me that you understand what this game is is about that's how you honor and respect the game it, it is it is simply what it is is you don't need no one's permission to become the best version of yourself. The only permission you need is yours, right? Yes. And you yes. go out there, man. And it's really cool. I'm inspired when I listen to you talk that you're giving yourself that permission. You're going for it, man. And it's definitely inspiring other guys. I hope they're listening to every single word uh, that you said, Kaylin, for sure, man. Sure. All right. Okay. And, um, if you wanted to see another athlete um, on the podcast who could also inspire other guys, um, tell them about the real, about what they need to know in order to become the best version of themselves, 
maximize their football journey, who would that be and uh, why? Uh, you already saw Shikai, so I can I can really talk about Shikai right now. But um, Rafi, Rafi from Baylor, the D line. Okay. Um, he's he's working hard. He's a great guy, and I think he's from CCL too. And I think we got the same mentality. I think we'll be different, but he's he's a great guy. He definitely had have some like good ways. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. I yeah. didn't say the name. Did you say Bradley? Rafi. Rafi. Okay, Rafi. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rafi. All right, for sure, man. Uh, we've we've been having the Baylor guys, man. They're good guys, so we can have them on. Now it's good that we brought in McCallie and also, so it's not all Baylor, right? It's yeah. McCallie too. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, cool stuff, Kaylin. Well, I appreciate you. Honestly, we wish you the best in in your journey. You have the right uh, mindset when it comes to this game. And uh, we have no doubt that you're going to succeed and you'll get to wherever you need to go. And if there's anything that we can do or whatever, man, we're just out here cheering on and supporting, man. That's it. Keep Thank doing you, you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right. My pleasure, man. So, guys, this is another episode of Champion Beyond the Huddle. We got Kalen, Siam running back, McCalley down in Chattanooga, Tennessee, doing big things. Go follow him. Go check him out. Where can people follow you, uh, Kaylin? Uh, my Instagram and my Twitter. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So see you next time. Make sure to click that subscribe button. Take care.